So the next thing you want to do um, to become an artist is to get some tools. Okay. Um, uh, if you're, and I, I'm, I'm primarily talking about digital art in this video. It's uh, I shouldn't even have to mention that. You probably like you know that already. But the point is, um, you need to get you need to get one of these. You just need to get um, it, all it is. This is a bamboo tablet. And you, you don't need to go get the most expensive tablet out there in the world. Like there are there are thousand dollar tablets. There's like three thousand dollar tablets out there. You don't need that at first. I have a hundred dollar tablet right here, and I've been using it for years. And the whole point of it is to be able to use use art as as you would naturally with a pen. Um, with the mouse, you, oh, it's like. It's, it's so hard to make good art with a mouse. And yeah, you can, sure, you can get squeaked by with it, but if you are if you really wanna become an artist, go get something like this. It's only a hundred bucks. And just start off with something simple like this because what's great is the pressure sensitivity. So you can use pressure sensitivity to make the art and it's a natural instrument that you would, you would use anyway. So get used to, go get one of these, get used to how it works. Like I have to put my, the, um, I have to put the the pen somewhat close to this tablet to be able to use it. And I remember when I was first starting with this tablet, I was like, it really took a while to get used to this. So get this, start getting used to it, and you'll start getting comfortable with your medium and your tools. That's the, the next part is, is you really just got to spend some time with your tools and with whatever medium it is that you like. If Like in my example, that's pixel art, whatever medium you like. That's great. I mean, you might even be watching this and you might want to just learn to paint. And that's actually what I did too. I learned how to paint. I learned how to stretch my own canvases. I have um, paintings on the walls um, that I've done. I mean, there's there's several in my house that, um, that, uh, that I've painted myself and I'm actually pretty proud of them. And, and that's one of the ways that really, that really clicked for me was that it was actually, you know, I really wanted to become a digital artist, but through actually learning how to paint in real life, that really taught me a lot. So. Um, get comfortable with your medium and your tools and also explore other mediums and other tools and make art in lots of different ways and um, you, you really will start becoming more of an accomplished artist.